We begin our special tefillah for Hanukkah with Bimei Matisyo Kohen Godel. Why the emphasis on Kohen Godel? In fact, the famous price of my Hanukkah says they found the Pach Shemin with the Chasim of the Kohen Godel. Why the Kohen Godel? The Pesach says in Micha Sifse Kohen Yichbu Das Vittoria Vakish Mipiu. The Kohen is in charge of teaching Torah. However, Rabbi Yochanan and Moikot Yutzayin points out that you learn Torah from Misha Domel, Amalach Hashem Tzvokos. What is man and Amalach? What does he get from overlapping with Amalach? Dovin Amel speaks about Gibore Koach, Malachim. And the Zohar says that a human being who is Koveshes Yitzro, he is like Amalach. Amalach is not in controlled by his yetzer, his passions, and a man who reaches that level, who is not controlled by his passions, he is like a malach. He is the Sifse Kohen, Yishmu Das, and he will teach us Torah. The Yavanim wanted to undermine anything that had Kedusha. They couldn't fathom that there could be sanctity in the body. The body was meant to be exposed and glorified. But in Torah, the Kohen Gadol represents the epitome of Kedusha, of sanctity. His very hands would sanctify the Ketores. And this was the level of Tara and Kedusha. All of Parshas Vayetshem is about this area of overcoming the Eitzahari. He wrote some atheist will that we understand the message of Hanukkah, the uplifting message to avoid the Eitzahari. We live in a society where it's great. We have to be Kovish as Yitro and be like the Malachim, and then we take the, the lead from the Kohen Gadol, and Amir Tzashem, the Mei Matisyo Kohen Gadol, it's a Kohen Gadol like a Malach Hashem, will be uplifted, and we will reach levels of Kedush and Tara, so that we will be Zohar to the Nisim, by Yom Emahim, Pazman Take this opportunity, wish everyone a wonderful Hanukkah. Thank you so much.